together. But with um, what uh, the panel is saying is that uh, there are gaps in the law and there are serious gaps. There are certain things which uh, the president desires to do, to have done, and there are things which he cannot do without processing them through the cabinet. And Article 153 of the Constitution states very clearly that uh, decisions of the cabinet shall be put in writing so that there are very clear records that the cabinet met on such and such a day and that uh, the cabinet approved the lifting of uh, GMOs. But we are also saying that uh, this cabinet is not a proper cabinet. Yeah? So that uh, these things which um, it seems to be processing could in the fullness of time be questioned. But it's also possible for the president and his cabinet when they are in place to nonetheless uh, go on and uh, justify that they could defend those decisions also successfully in court. So there's a, an untidy situation that uh, the country must address and of very critical concern for me as Barack uh, gentlemen and viewers is that a lot of dirty stuff can happen. Yeah. If we have been in government for 10 years and we have done certain wrong things or ill things and I thought that uh, uh, Dr. Kalua was going to take over, I probably made certain a, a private arrangements with him about how we are going to clean up <coughs> the mess, then it turns out that uh, it is Kirwa and Olo who are taking over. Um, and and, 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 and uh, they don't take over. I still have my people whom I appointed in that office. We are going to mess up the place.